Baik ya ikhlasilah ya sekarang kita sudah ditemani ya salah satu ya uh, teman yang dimana teman itu mendapatkan uh, scholarship ya beasiswa LPDP ya mungkin kita akan menanyakan bagaimana sih bisa mendapatkan LPDP itu sendiri. Oke. Okay. Ahlan ya mungkin sebelum kita bincang-bincang uh, bisa memperkenalkan singkat dulu Togi. Ya yeah. uh, bahasa Indonesia. Never mind if you want English it's doesn't matter. Oke. Okay. Mostly I will use in two languages. Hmm. Saya akan berbicara pakai bahasa Indonesia dan bahasa Inggris ya. Oke. Okay. Jadi uh, perkenalkan nama saya Muhammad Kasogi. Saya adalah seorang pengusaha dan juga arsitek. Um, saya punya bisnis arsitektur dan juga uh, graphic design. Saya berdomisili sekarang di Semarang. Kebetulan lagi ada proyek di Jakarta, makanya sekarang bisa ketemu sama Azam. Nah, Azam ini teman waktu saya ada di Jakarta tahun kurang lebih 2014. Okay, uh, if you want to talk about LPDP now, yes. okay. First thing first, um, it was back in 2015, right? Yes. Okay, when I did study in study Al Hikmah, oh, right? Yes, Do you yeah, remember? Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. and at that time I was working in uh, one of the uh, architectural company in, in in Jakarta. Okay, and I saw LPDP news from my friend. He shared. A post about LPDP that he just got the LPDP scholarship, and later on I found out the information about LPDP more, and then what is the requirement, how to enter LPDP, how to get accepted in LPDP, and the true the the all process that we need to pass basically. Okay, and then I start to apply it. Okay. Um, At that time, back in 2015, I guess the application was very modest, not that complicated. Uh, back then, it was simple, right? So what you needed to do was you only had to uh, fill the form and submit some of the certificates that you had. Back then, I had only uh, I was only asked to submit. My university, the bachelor, the S1, wow. S1 certificate, and then I had to submit IELTS or TOEFL uh, certificate. Yes. You know IELTS? Both of them. IELTS. No, only one. Oh yes, IELTS. Yeah, you just just only one. Uh, you know TOEFL. If you submit by TOEFL, it scans or how? It can. Okay. It, it can. Mm-hmm. So basically, you would have to know about the, these two differences. Yeah. Okay. Just want to yes, let I people know mm-hmm. IELTS. Only IELTS is made by the British, mm. and TOEFL is made by American. Okay, but basically those certificates work same or similar. Okay, it qualifies. It um it basically approves your level of proficiency in English languages, yes. right? In terms of academic. Okay. And at the time, LPDP only required people to have at least IELTS of six. Oh, six. Only six at that time. But at that time, I got six point five. Yeah. The reason why I got six point five was quite interesting as well. You know, I did learn IELTS every morning in the office. So suppose that I work in the office at nine o'clock. I went to office at 8:30, oh. so I I study 30 minutes before I work oh. in my office desk. Mm. I printed out the materials. Mm. I exercise by myself. I downloaded the audio from website, and I simulated the LPDP test. Mm. And then Alhamdulillah, mm. I pass it and I got 6.5 score. What about the IP, uh, IPK? It is the minimum GPA yes. IPK. Yeah. The minimum one was only 3.0 or 3.25, and I only got 3.4, mm-hmm. not that high, mm-hmm. but it was quite um, uh, okay for them, basically, okay. yeah. And then the process went very smooth at that time, mm-hmm. and then they they accepted my application, they asked me for the interview, and then. I had to do like psychological tests. 
I was asked with all the ten people to discuss in front of camera and you know, in, in, in front of interviewer. Mm -hmm. I was brought the question about leadership. I was brought question about the politic in Indonesia, mm -hmm. and we had to discuss it. Okay. How long this? Uh, this it was only fifteen minutes. Just fifteen minutes. Just fifteen, 15 minutes. minutes, and probably only three out of ten were selected. Oh. Yeah. Um, but the most important thing is if you wanted to accept, to get accepted in LPDP at the time yes. you would have to have a certificate of acceptance in university mm. you remember mm. back in 2015 I got accepted in King Fahad yes. University of Petroleum uh. in Saudi Arabia uh. yeah I used that certificate to, to apply LPDP and Alhamdulillah that certificate was so useful and that was the reason why they accepted me because I already got letter of acceptance from the university and also uh, other certificates that I have like uh, IELTS and, and university certificates basically um, and then few weeks after I got accepted by LPDP I changed the university goals because at that time I was thinking if I had to enter the King Fahad University Petroleum and Minerals, mm -hmm. I would have to have the certificate of GRE. Mm -hmm. GRE, what is the certificate of GRE? GRE is basically like a like like a academic certificate that you need to have to enter the American school. It was very hard one, very mm -hmm. tough one to enter. That's why I never passed that one, and th that's why I gave up. I gave up to enter Saudi Arabian universities because they qualify even more than European ones. That's why I changed to European ones. I look at UK's university and I found out several universities which are good in UK, like Southampton, Sheffield, Nottingham, and etc. Alhamdulillah, at that time I got accepted by two universities. First one is Queen Belfast Universities in Ireland. And the second one is Sheffield University, and I like I looked at uh, Sheffield University, and they've got good reputation in architectural and civil engineering, and that's why I choose that. Mm. And then, yeah, Alhamdulillah, 2000 and late late 2015, um, I went to UK. I stood I studied there for about a year and a half, and I finished my study. I went back to Indonesia in 2017, and since then. Um, uh, I established my company until now. Mashallah. So what the benefit from LPDP? You got it. What the benefit for your education especially? I think everyone know it but you can continue. Them. Okay, you know when we talk about education, now we are talking about formal education. Yes. Because I believe we can get many knowledge in informal ways as well. Yes. Not limited to uh, formal education. Yes. Why you need to have formal education? You know, I'm speaking about the benefit here, especially about formal one. Okay, we don't talk about informal one, formal one. Why it's necessary for you to get educated in formal education in abroad, in UK? Okay, there are many things. First of all, in my field of study architecture UK is one of leading institution in architectural world there are many famous architect architects from UK such as Zaha Hadid and other famous architects okay and a lot of famous architects who graduated from UK they became successful in Indonesia that's the first thing and then the second one I wanted to meet a lot of interesting people from different countries and races and that's why when I was there I got to meet a lot of very interesting uh, people from Africa from China from America from Europe from UK from wherever they are and now we became good friends until now it's very beneficial why it's important 
that is to broaden our mind we meet new people from different regions that we never imagined from and then they talk to you they started to talk about their daily life about their politics yes. it's widen your mind Again. you think bigger yes. oh yes. now I have perspective about them which I didn't have before back in Indonesia I only think about okay Jakarta is macet <laughs> Indonesia is yes. big there is a lot of people there is Java, Sunda uh, Batak that's it yes. but when you meet like French people Malay people Chinese people British people they're totally from different region that you never met before yes. and they, they speak different languages they carry different culture languages food politics you had many perspective how to see something after that my perspective to see the world has changed dramatically and that is so beneficial yeah yes inshallah so uh, what do you want to advise the people who want to register in the TPP especially okay I want to advise that if you want to get accepted in LPDP just be consistent first of all like if you want to get the LPDP scholarship suppose that now I'm assuming you are 25 26 years old you just graduated from university first thing that you want you want to make sure is you need to make sure is the requirement that they ask you if they require you to have minimum GP of 3.25 then you need to have that one you cannot negotiate that oh I have only 3.1 then LPDP is not for you just retrieve that and forget about LPDP instantly yes. otherwise it would be so stressful oh wow, my APK my GPA is this <laughs> no don't think if you cannot pass it then forget okay GPA secondly about language requirement yeah that one you, you can still struggle it like for example okay the requirement of ALS or TOEFL score is the TOEFL one is 550 or ALS is 6.5 now I only have 6 for example then you need to study more to get 6 but GPA you cannot do that right <laughs> that's why you need to forget <laughs> because it's 4 years study yes. yeah you cannot okay I in order to get you. nah I want to go <laughs> to university again and, yes. and getting uh, 3.5 yeah. no you would waste of you would waste a lot of time doing that yes. okay Good. secondly um, the certificate certificate of uh, English, English proficiency um, if you fail then make sure that you would pass it by what by being consistent study hard you don't need to study in courses or pay somebody to teach you now there are many lessons that you can get on YouTube or website very easily easily what you need to do is you need to have like a structure of mind you need to have like a plan concrete plan or after three weeks or after one month my IELTS score would be 6.5 how do I good how do I get that one okay first of all I need to improve my speaking skills one week speaking skills second weeks writing skills third weeks is listening skills and so on and so and do that until you succeed don't stop after you fail failure is the best lesson to get succeed yeah if you fail study harder so you are failed also no I never failed I never win IELTS but I feel in my simulation mm. because I did simulation myself oh I feel that one mm. how could I improve that you know I improve myself okay what I, what I did was very cheap method because <laughs> <laughs> I never enroll in course oh, yes, in yes. courses yeah I never enroll in any school mm. I did very cheap I only printed in the printing company I printed out I simulated myself I feel and I did it again as simple as that maybe it cost me only 50,000 <laughs> yeah because I didn't want to uh, waste a lot of money at the time yeah and after that just apply the LPDP confidently okay being confident is 98% of winning yeah 
being confident is very important in everything, everything. especially when you about to apply LPDP be confident at first how can I be confident study how to be confident study how to study be true of yourself be true of yourself don't lie about yourself just be yourself be yourself bro if you're small just say I'm small why not yes. I'm small and handsome why not right <laughs> if you are black I'm black it's okay people will still accept me because I'm black people would look at my mind not my skin that's why don't be little of yourself although you are this and that or you are Chinese you Japanese you speak Madok you speak uh, this you tell out you blah 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 try to re remove that negative mindset okay and think that you are positive person and that's when you can become so confident yeah be true of yourself applying a pdp through your through of yourself getting interviewed by the interviewer you speak about yourself calmly just be yourself when they ask you where do you live i live in here don't try to fake oh i'm from jakarta i'm from there and that no just be true of yourself people would appreciate more about you if you be true of yourself yeah everyone has a unique story about their life you don't have to be another person just be yourself that's it my key to go accepted by LPDB at the time, I was true of myself. I spoke to them. I live with other eight people in one boarding house with you and other people. And most of them memorize Quran with me. And then you remember, yeah, I live in, in that Mampang. And then I explain about myself. My family was from Semarang. I'm yes. from I'm Japanese, you know. How how can I be this person, this and that? Just be yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh Okay, uh, thanks very much for calling. Yeah. I have uh, the code is good for all, everyone here. Prepare, preparation, prefer for performance. Good luck. I'm Azam. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Very quick, bro. <laughs> <laughs>